and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky, and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. So I have a quick mini haul, and I also wanted to get into the giveaway because I feel like it's been a whole month, and it wasn't supposed to be this long, but I'm going to get into the giveaway, but first I have a quick haul maybe a quick little rant or quick story but you get the picture if you're interested in what i have purchased then you know what to do just keep on watching okay so i have some more new perfume of course and honestly these first two i thought i was dreaming about it i was like i woke up the next day and was like dang i was dreaming about buying perfume and then I got like a UPS notification either that later that day or the next day about my package arriving. And I was like, what package? So I go and I check and I realize that actually was not a dream. Okay. Like it was the middle of the night. It was like sometime around midnight or whatever. Um, I think I might leave the timestamp of like the email thread when the order was confirmed. But like, I thought I was sleeping, but apparently... I was like, sleep buying? Is that a thing? You know, people sleepwalk, can you sleep buy? I don't know, but I did it and here's what I picked up. Maybe if I have like the packaging. So I picked up um, two of the Soli notes. I got these from the JCPenney app and um, I haven't seen them in store yet. I actually have not been to a CVS to see if I can find them in there. And really, because I haven't really been leaving the house, we've been getting snowstorms. I went outside earlier today and the snow was like halfway up my leg. And I live, look, I live in New York State. I get it. The snow comes every year like clockwork. That doesn't mean I'm still not traumatized. And um, just being out there just had my nerves frazzled, which is why, you know, I haven't been made it to a CVS yet. Probably could have gone last week, but whatever. Anywho, I picked up Tonka, the first one. And the other one I picked up is Vani. So these are the two, and these are the 15 mLs. So cute little bottles. Um, I feel like I did spray these at some point a few days ago when they got here. Let me just remind myself of what these smell like. So this Tonka one is creamy and I'm pretty sure it's just that single note. This one is a single note of Tonka bean and the vanilla one will be a single note of vanilla. And this Tonka bean one smells so good. It's a nice creamy scent. So I can't wait to wear it, layer it, do whatever I end up doing with it. This is, I want to say it's basic, but like an elevated basic. Is it me or is this kind of like lemony? Like buttercreamy, frosting-y? I don't know what that is unless it's something else that's already on my skin. But this vanilla smells so good. It's it's just really good. Like I feel like this will go so good with the foodie scent. For some reason I'm getting like lemon buttercream. I don't know if I'm hungry or what but if you smelled this and you get like a frosting vibe let me know but yeah i really do like these two from sully notes so even though i was half sleep when i bought them i don't regret getting these um i do wish they were like larger so at some point um hopefully um i will get larger sizes of these but i'm gonna try and make sure i at least finish these before I buy a larger size but we'll see don't hold me to that and next what came in the mail today is my Burberry Her Intense and I have been seeing that this was supposed to be getting discontinued so you know how it is when you hear something's getting discontinued there's a whole lot of hysteria around getting your hands on it so I did go ahead and order this so here we go with the bottle and I do have the original Burberry Her for context, just so you can see the bottles. Um, and that also reminds me of that um, Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming. I saw somewhere that one's supposed to be getting discontinued. And I don't think I've ever smelled that one, but now I wanna 
like smell it buy it or whatever so we'll see about that the notes to burberry her intense in the top we have red fruits and blackberry the middle is jasmine and the base is benzoin and i did spray this on my wrist earlier i'm gonna spray a little more on like another part of my arm but i remember the the red fruits like i can clearly distinct distinguish that cherry note like a part of the red fruits whereas i can't fully point out a specific berry in the original i just know it's berries but i can smell cherry specifically in here and i can tell it's like it's red fruits it's berries but i can smell the cherry for sure it's kind of like almost sometimes candy like sometimes slightly like the smallest slightly powdery like dusty but um really nice in the dry down and i will say comparing these two since the intense does not have amber it's not exactly ambery but it's still like kind of creamy so i do like this and another huge difference between these two is there is no musk in the intense version and i know like sometimes musk and fragrances on my skin mm, it's hit or miss sometimes so sometimes it could be a scent i love and it'll just be it just won't be a good day for musk and my pheromones and um while i do really enjoy the original burberry hair sometimes the musk is a little annoying and overwhelming whereas i need the musk to turn down so that I can get more of the berries and amber. But either way, I still like the original Burberry Her. And I am not mad at picking this one up. I don't find it to necessarily be an original scent. But it's not something that I regret buying, you know. Because I love scents that have nice sweet berry notes. So I can definitely see myself wearing this. I don't know with what yet. But again, I'm going to figure that out when I get there. So again, that is Burberry Her Intense. So again, I do find the Intense version to be more sweet than the original. But I feel like that's because a bunch of those base notes are no longer in the Intense version. But again, smell it on your own. You know, if you get a chance to go to Sephora, Ulta, wherever else you can smell them in store. I recommend you do that because I did just blind buy that. But I'm actually, you know, pretty happy with it. And real quick, I hauled these in my one of my last hauls, but it was like an online order, but has since shown up. And that is my set to strawberries and champagne. It has arrived and the correct items shown up in the mail. So love that for me. Now for the giveaway that ugh, it's taking me forever to get around to doing. So today, right now, at least it is Friday, February 4th. Um... If I can get this out tonight real late, it'll be out because it's, it's 10 p.m., okay? So, uh, after I'm done, I might just, you know, go shower, we're gonna wash my face and go to sleep. So, if I can get this out tonight, great. If not, it'll be out tomorrow. I'm gonna do three winners, right? And, because I have nine items. So, I figured instead of dividing it by, like, two, I could have done four but i have an odd number and that meant i'd have to either like take something out which makes me feel selfish for taking something out so <laughs> there's that but so for the first um set i have the honey wildflower perfume the um brazil nut body butter from trader joe's and the cupcake swirl um fragrance mist from body fantasies for the next set, I have the pomegranate. This looks, I bought this at Sass and now that I'm looking at this tube, I don't like the way this tube looks dirty. Like there is like a dirt speck on here. So I don't know how comfortable I feel about mailing it out like that. And the one I bought for myself, I've already used, so I can't send that out so i'm actually now uncomfortable with mailing this out with 
the tube being dirty. Now, if y'all don't mind this being included with the giveaway, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I might just pull this out. Um, but in with that, I have a Bonfire Bash body butter and a you, turn it the right way. <laughs> I have a You're the One perfume, and this is the big 3.4 full ounce bottle. So that is number two. And for number three, I have a Hibiscus Paradise perfume, a Sunshine Mimosa perfume, and a Pumpkin Pecan Waffles fragrance mist. So those are the three sets I have right now. Um, if, if, um, Y'all don't want this pomegranate one to be in the giveaway because of this, like, stain that's on there. Like, it's a weird... It's probably not going to pick up. Let me see if I can turn my ring light down. There's... There you go. There's a stain right there. So, if y'all... You know. Because this is essentially going to be mailed out to three of y'all. So, if y'all are all um, in the grants where y'all want me to mail this out perfectly fine i'll just split these in two and then i'll do four and four four items for you know each person we can just do it like that but those are the items i have for the giveaway now here's how you can participate so leave comments under this video i have two questions you think all right do i have two questions yeah my first question is one, what is your favorite layering combination? Okay. It could be something that um, you already seen here that I've already mentioned, something that you got, your try and true, but what is your favorite layering combination? And number two, I'm interested in uh, hearing from you what kind of content are you interested in seeing from me that you haven't already seen? So I'm not talking about layering or like fragrance or like what would you be interested in seeing from me that you haven't already seen? So I remember asking before what, you know, what kind of visuals like to see and I always get the same layering perfume. I'm already gonna do that because I'm already obsessed with it. So we can already expect that, okay? But I'm thinking about something that's unexpected. So what would you be interested in seeing from me i'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say and if it's something that i feel like could be super cool for me to do then you know i'm gonna do it and that is that so that's how you can um be involved in the giveaway so i'm gonna wrap the video up here i hope you enjoy my quick little mini haul um, best of luck to you in the giveaway. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next video.